One last video to bring this together. Um, this diagram shows the same stimulus response pathway that I drew, but with more detail, so not the same. It's also similar to the flow chart I drew. Um, so this is a little bit kind of bringing some things together. So let's say we have some start here. This is gonna be a stimulus. The stimulus is going to target receptors, right? These receptors are somewhere, um, somewhere in the body, uh, maybe detecting some external stimulus. Could be something internal. So we've got our stimulus, our receptor. That information is going to be um, carried to the central nervous system via the peripheral nervous system and specifically the sensory or afferent division. This is our input signal. So the PNS is the input signal. It carries that input signal. When that information gets to the central nervous system, information is processed. This could be um, a single synapse to result in a reflex. So this could be simple, like a reflex, or it could involve transmission to different brain regions, including the cortex, which then requires more complex decision-making. So your book had an example of this with um, deciding how, testing water temperature and deciding um, whether to change the water temperature and what to do about the water temperature um, requires thought. That thought is requiring interneurons to transmit their signals to synapse onto, into all different brain regions to process that um, until, and we'll go into more of that, um, processing in the brain to result in some motor output, right? So regardless of what, whether it's simple, complex, how complex it is, if a decision is made to take some action, there is then going to be a motor response. This is our output signal, the motor or efferent division of the PNS. So remember the output signal of our endocrine system was a hormone. Um, so similarly, this is going to target something, target a target um, to initiate some, some effect. So in, for motor, we've got divisions, somatic and autonomic, skeletal muscle always for the somatic nervous system. Autonomic is the smooth muscles, cardiac muscle um, and glands that I show you pictures of these type of, types of synapses. Um, in the previous video, and is also divided into parasympathetic and sympathetic, which are just the two kind of types of responses you'd want depending on the situation. And we'll talk more about that. So do you wanna increase or decrease heart rate? The actual effectors that, that there are, um, are almost always the same for these two divisions. There are some that aren't targeted by one or the other. Some specific targets. We'll get back to that. So there is, where is it? There we go. Our target and effector is going to then initiate some response. So the response could be contraction of skeletal muscle, could be increased contraction of heart muscle, could be release of a gland of a hormone from a gland, could be increased motility in the digestive system, could be decreased motility of the digestive system, increased sweating, et cetera but you see how we have our stimulus response pathway here still, just with a little bit more complexity. All right, last learning check. A most interesting, um, most important concept, most interesting, and what do you still have questions about?